this is the Huntress gameplay, uh, Dead by Daylight Mobile. I really like her. It's the look and the creepy humming she does as you pace around the map. A simple rule, don't run if you don't need to. He gave away his position by scaring the crows, which led to the chase and led to him being hit. It's his own fault. One thing that feels really good about this game is when you injure someone, um, even if they're like sneaking around, obviously the scratches won't appear, but the blood will, and it feels good to follow the blood and find your limping victim. This part, he fucked up again. Um, I had obviously lost him. I had no idea where he was, but because he chose to continue running, he gave away his position. And not only did he continue running, but he also stopped. <laughs> and uh, I found him. So if you're going to run for a long period of time, and then you're going to stop, don't stand around where you've just stopped. Because you are literally saying, hey, Here's a chalk line, follow that line, and you'll find me. I hate the cornfield, um, it's so hard to find the survivors at times. So remember, if you're the survivor and you're in the cornfield, and you're not bleeding, stop running. <laughs> Especially when you don't need to, just change your angle and sit still and hopefully he won't see you or she won't see you. Remember, you can see the direction the killer is facing. So it shouldn't be too hard to move out of their way. This proves my point. I'm running through this field like a madman. If there was no scratches, if there was no blood, I'd have no idea where they went. Never troll your killer, okay? It's fun to do and, and it does somewhat work. But I obviously knew she was around the area. Now because she was running around, I could hear when she was climbing through the window and which window she was going through. Not only that, it means the chase sequence is longer. The longer you're in the chase, the quicker the killer starts to move. So eventually, they will get you. It's not worth it. Just lose them and hide. This part makes me laugh. The crow goes off. And so I'm heading there and I see Bill. And so I'm about to get built, but then quietly I hear a whimper. So I check behind the rock and it's this bitch again. So she becomes my priority. And I'm chasing and I'm chasing and poor Bill, he just gets in the way. So then I go back to chasing her because I've already hooked her once, so she's my priority. And uh, there she is, healing away. No, the one I've just hooked uh, starts to struggle. And so her health dropped halfway. And at this point, I want to make sure she dies. I, I can't be bothered chasing her again. And so, I start hanging around, and luckily I did. Because, uh, poor Bill tries to be the hero again, and, uh, he got the axe.
This part, I didn't even see the guy. Um, the music just kicked in once I saw the scratches. See, now, once I hit this guy, can you see him? <laughs> you know, I can't see him. But I hit him, so now he's bleeding. Now, imagine if I didn't hit him. And imagine if he was just creeping through that um, that cornfield. I, I, I would know, I have no idea where he is. So at this point, I've got one hooked that's about to die. I have a guy over my shoulder. He's about to be hooked and also about to die. So that's two dead, one alive and one in a dying state. At this point, I find scratches and I find blood. So I know that leads to them. Now, I can't stress this enough. If you don't need to run, stop running. It's easier to hide from the killer because the killer is in a first person view. I don't know why Bill tries running back. I'm assuming it's to drop the pallet on me, which leads to another rule. If you don't need to be a hero at that time, don't do it. It's always good to help your teammates and stuff. But some actions are brave and some are just stupid. Finally, we're on the last survivor. Now I know, once I hook this person, they're dead. So, I'm chasing them, and I miss, and I hit them. I feel like missing the hit should have a longer cooldown. Um, I feel like I shouldn't have been able to hit that survivor, but I did, whatever. So anyway, I find them, and you shouldn't ever really run into the basement. Um, <laughs> especially when you're in a chase. Um, there's only one way in and one way out and you're right by the hooks too and you're the only one left so uh, you're pretty much asking for it so that's all survivors dead and just in case you're wondering I am playing on the Samsung Tab S6